Hello, my name is Manisha Lat Gupta and I'm the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, another roofing option in the sustainable house. Now, if you've been following our sustainable house playlist, you would have seen that we've covered four or five different roofing systems which can be used in your house without uh, using the conventional steel and concrete. Now, this area that you see around me is actually like a veranda. And so we wanted the roof to have a very veranda kind of a look to it. And of course, we have been avoiding concrete in most spaces. So we didn't want to use concrete here as well. So what we've done is we built a roof with stone. This is red sandstone and metal pipes. Now you can see that the pipes have been laid at a fixed interval and because this area is a little bit curving the pipes also have been put in a very aesthetically pleasing manner so that they also rotate along with the curvature and therefore the distance between the pipes is about two to three feet on one side and perhaps maybe three to three and a half feet on the other side. Now this distance has also been kept keeping in mind the size of the stone that one typically gets now you'll see that we've put two pipes together. This is not a requirement of the roof. This is because we had already ordered the thinner pipes and then uh, we realized we need something slightly thicker to take the weight of the stone. But we didn't want to junk the pipes that we had already bought. So we just stuck two of them together and made this design. But you could choose a maybe three by six pipe in our case, these are two by four inch pipes and that's why we stuck two together to make this roof. Now, once you have put all the pipes in place, then the stone has to be cut to that particular shape and placed on top of the pipes. Now, once that is done, then a standard waterproofing uh, process is applied on top of this structure. You can actually uh, use a mud and then brick tiles on top. It's something that we've done not here, but in another room. And it really helps to keep the room extremely cool. And another, the other option is to actually waterproof it the way you do with a chemical compound. Uh, put a little bit of uh, you know gravel uh, and mortar on top of it and then finally close it with uh, brick baths to uh, give the right slopes and finally we have used paved tiles which helps to uh, reflect the sunlight and therefore keep the roof cool. Uh, finally to put lights into this roof we've actually drilled out holes in the stone itself and then embedded lights within them. Of course all the electrical pipe work etc happens on top of the stone layer and beneath the finishing layer. Now, one of the things that struck me about the steel and concrete roof is that it ends up fusing a lot of material together, which can never really be recycled. And what I like about some of the sustainable house roofs that we've used is that the materials are actually all still separate from each other. And uh, in the event that you have to break this house at some point in time, you can actually retrieve all the material and reuse it another time. Now this is a fairly affordable roof to make because it doesn't really take a lot of expensive material. It's a fairly simple craftsmanship. Uh, obviously if somebody is good at doing it, then the roof will look a little bit more aesthetic and pleasing than if it's not done nicely. And if you would like to use 
uh, a roof like this in your sustainable house uh, you know you can refer to these notes and of course your architect and your mason will be able to guide you with more of the finer details on how to put this roof together so much from me today uh, thanks for watching this video uh, if you like this video you can also see the other sustainable house videos in our playlist which goes by the same name so thanks for watching and see you again soon bye